<clears throat> okay. Um, <clears throat> good outcome, 52-3. So that's a lot of people doing things, a lot of, um, a lot of things right. Whenever you have that type of score, so I think um, not quite as good as the week before, you know, a little sloppier with eight penalties. Um, but, again, if, you know, you play offense that way and so the ones, whatever, had eight drives, seven touchdowns, a field goal, no turnovers, no punts, you're going to win a lot of games. So I thought that it was great, like we talked about during the week, to get the run game going. And um, Henry Parrish was really explosive today with four touchdowns and 11 yards of carry. I thought, uh, you know, Jackson, a lot of credit to him and to Charlie Weiss, Joe Judge, a lot of people involved in that. Fisher Ray, a lot of people that do a lot of work um, all week long with Jackson, and, and Jackson's up here all the time. And so I think when, when that happens, it's really good to see someone that's put so much work in into building this team recruiting it, but then his own work on himself and to, you know, play perfect there till the end. I think at one point is it 23 or 24 straight, um, you know, until the post there to Trey uh, was really neat to see. So uh, that's got to be some type of school record, I would think. I think Matt had one when we played Vanderbilt in our first year or something. So uh, that, that's, again, a lot of people doing things well. It's hard to go, was it 24 of 24? It's hard to go 24 or 24 on air with no one around because um, you drop balls. So uh, really good protection, really good catching the ball to do that. Trey Harris I thought was as advertised. It was good to get juice um, involved some. So uh, I thought we just in pass defense, we were sloppy and too many people open. And we did a good job of red zone defense to overcome that. But um, I don't think we're really pleased about how we played in the pass game on defense. Run game defense was good. I think the ones till the end there, when the backups were in, gave up 10 yards rushing the whole day. So a lot of good things. We can only get to 2-0. Uh, I think we're relatively healthy and and actually look to get, you know, one or two guys back that haven't played yet as we go on the road next week to a tough opponent in the ACC. Playing it just kind of with Bentley, was there something with him that wasn't right? We didn't see him much till the second half. Just kind of what's what's the situation with him? Well, I think that you know we've got a lot of good running backs, and you know, um, thought Parrish played really well and practiced really well, so he started. And um, it's hard to beat 11.8 yards per carry and four touchdowns. And wanted to get Matt more involved after him, you know, having best touchdown ratio in the country uh, over the last couple of years. So really wasn't anything Bentley did wrong. Playing kind of along those lines, you know, Walter not going back into the game after that interception in the end zone, you know, was that more just based on what the score was at that point in the game? Or what's kind of the early, you know, report on, you know, his situation? Yeah, I mean, you know, we don't comment much on that, but I'll help our fans on that. That was my decision not to put him back in, not a medical decision. So we can rest easy tonight. Yelling those the 24 straight completions set a single game SEC record um, with Jackson today. Just what, from your perspective, what, what was working so well for him? Well, again, that's a, like I said, I, I give, you know, like I say when something happens, everyone wants to talk about that moment, but it's really all the things you did up to that moment and the thing that happened that got you there. And that's why I kind of went on that long part about all the coaches that help him, but what he does all offseason. I mean, he is up here all week long um, in every area. And, and I just love it because he prepares each game like it's the national championship. And he did it this week. And it's just really good when something pays off like that, um, you know, to, to be 100% completion through whatever, over three quarters of football. Um, you know, it's awesome. It's awesome to see. What's like what's up top? Go ahead. Lane for Henry Parrish to, you know, come in here and, and have the day that he did. I mean, what does that kind of say about the, the depth that y'all have at running back? 
Well, I, I don't know necessarily about depth for sure that it says. I think it just says that, you know, Henry's a really good player. We recruited him out of high school. At one point he was coming to us at FAU until we came here and did well here as a true freshman. And glad he came back, obviously. And, and he's really had a great summer. You know, he got here late and his weight was down and he put a lot of good weight on and, and has worked really hard for this. So that was great to see. Caden's great, um, makes a ton of plays, does everything right, high culture guy. Um, we're fortunate to have a lot of those. Um, you know, and, and, and Jordan coming, Jordan Watkins coming back and playing a little bit today um, was awesome to have those two guys because those guys can play, you know, Jordan can play outside. He did some today, so he was playing with them. And when those two guys are in, you just know they're going to figure the plays out. They allow us to play really fast because they're so savvy um, and unique players. Yeah, um, the defense, I mean, obviously hasn't allowed a touchdown this year, but you were talking about, you know, the red zone defense kind of bailing out the rest of it today. I mean, how close do you think this defense is to where you want it to be at this point? Yeah, I probably thought it was closer um, prior to the game. I just think we didn't play very clean in the back end. You know, even, you know, some good, they dropped some balls. You know, the guy opened on the deep post, quarterback missed the throw. So we're not going to be able to play like that in the SEC. Um, you know, against uh, better passing teams. So, you know, we got to clean that up, which, you know, look around the country, everybody's got things to work on. So we're appreciative of, you know, having two wins like this. As you look around the country, you know, you see some people when I walk by the scoreboard, you know, be happy to be 2-0. and So, but we got a lot of work to do. Lane, having the injuries that you've had so far just in the interior of the offensive line with the guys that have been able to step up, what's kind of, I know there's some stuff to look back on this one in particular, but just what's your evaluation of the interior offensive line for the first, these first two games? Uh, yeah, you know, we've got, we got three guys that either played a lot or we anticipated playing a lot on the inside of that O-line that, that are out and didn't play. Um, so, you know, we look to, to get those guys back. <clears throat> um, so I think it was really good to see us run the ball the way we did without those guys. And um, as they come back, it will just improve us. And um, so it's a good thing. I know it's his first game back, but uh, Watkins at punt return. Have you guys talked about keeping him there for the year? Or is he kind of just going to be on offense this year? Yeah, you know, Mike has done a really good job. Um, Punt returning. So again, you know, these are good problems to have that we're talking about. These three linemen that are starting type linemen that are out, and we're able to play the other guys. And we've never had that. We've never had where well, we got a good returner, but we got another good returner, and now we got two really elite slots um, in Caden. Um, <clears throat> so it's just and Jordan's just really good problems to have. All right, guys, thank you.